I've always expected a lot of myself. There's no reason for anybody to do anything unless they expect to be the best at it. You are a PGA Tour winner for the very first time. I expect to be number one in the world at some point in my career, and I hope to be. And being 22 years old on the PGA Tour, I truly is living the dream. The thing about golf that I think is such a big draw is it's just so unique. It, it really is. I just enjoy that challenge. I enjoy having to, to make the, the best of, of situations sometimes that you, you don't wish you were in. My dad, he's a golf pro. He's played his whole life. My grandpa played on the PGA Tour, so I think like any kid growing up around their parents, they kind of gravitate toward whatever they're doing. My dad's had a, a huge impact on me my entire life. He's been a best friend, has been my coach my entire career. You're thinking about it, going lower, going back here, making sure that we stay kind of open here. I'm, not, I'm doing it totally different on each shot. You're coming more from the inside, even if you're trying to cut it. I'm a club professional. When he was born, I was playing in a lot of tournaments and you know, was serious about my game at the time. By the time he was two years old, he wanted to whack some balls. Ooh. He made contact with the ball and got up in the air every single time. Oh, good shot. I'm just like, that, that shouldn't happen. Justin, smile. Hey, hi, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. He just got to enjoy it. Like, that was one thing that my dad always just made it fun for me, always made sure that I enjoyed it. That'll work. Another fairway for Big J. Smarty pants. When he was eight years old, I think we went to the U.S. Kids. Justin I caddied in the qualifier. He shot 29, and I was like, "Wow! I mean, that, that's is amazing." And the winner of the boys' 11 and 12 division, Justin oh. Thomas. Oh, way to go! Yeah, I'm able to pass on lessons to him now. All the things that I did poorly when I played. Part of the issue could be, you know, having a backswing thought and a downswing thought. Maybe get rid of the backswing thought. I think. I don't know. I mean, I guess y'all tell me, but. I'd well, I'd rather you think about two things going back than one going back and then one going forward. His sights are set very high. He wants to be the number one player in the world, and I think that he can get there. You know, it's a learning process for these young guys. Golf in general is just so, it's so different. You feel like you're so close and you're playing so well and you'll have two, three, four, five, six events, whatever it is in a row where you just don't finish well. And you're just so confused as to why. One of the craziest things about golf is you never know what you're gonna get that day. You can shoot 82 one day and then you can come out the next day and shoot 62. As a parent, I feel for his hurt and his failures. But as a teacher, I'm more looking at, were there poor decisions made out there? Did you lose patience after a certain series of holes? So bad. Oh my gosh, I killed it. I'm definitely never satisfied. I can't think of a time in my career or time playing golf when I've ever been like, yeah, like, uh, this is good. You know, I, I've done, I've done enough or I've done, I've done well. It's like, no, I need to always do more. I think what brings people back to golf, honestly, is just that satisfaction of, of success. Everybody's stage of success is different. Me, it's winning, it's what I play for. I'm gonna save my life.
I put golf as the top priority of anything in my life, but I still want to have fun. I'm not going to give myself that honor of being best dressed. I'll let everybody else make that call, but I take pride in how I dress. Some more suede, some navy, little tassels on there. You gotta get that. <laughs> like that? I'm so upset about missing a cut, like how, how rough do I have it? Life could be a lot worse than, than what I'm doing. That's the main goal, is to, is to win and, and to play well and, and have a lot of great achievements and long career, be healthy. It'd be hard for me, I feel like, to, to be settled with myself if I was winning and playing well and nobody was rooting for me and, and nobody really liked me. I just think that'd be tough. Thank you. No problem, buddy. There's going to be a time where the end is the end. Hopefully a lot of accolades to go with that, but that's that's kind of the fun in it. Nobody knows what's going to happen, and that's why I'm always working and, and trying to get better. Gosh, I killed it. Finish what?